At Flux, we've always envisioned a world where AI transforms hardware design, where engineers can go from an idea to a working schematic without the grind. But the reality? Hardware is still hard. In software, AI agents build an entire prototype in minutes. They analyze, automate, and accelerate workflows at speeds no human could match. So where is it for hardware? Where's the AI agent that doesn't just advise, but takes action, handling placement, wiring, and decisions with full context of your design. That's why we are excited to introduce the next evolution of Flux's Copilot. Before we jump into building our first schematic, let me show you what's new in Copilot, our biggest update yet. Copilot has now its own dedicated tab. So all your AI-driven workflows are neatly organized, separate from the team chat. We've also upgraded the AI model under the hood. Copilot understands datasheet better and performs more accurate calculations. You can also select from different models depending on your needs. Responses now stream in real time. No more waiting on a blank screen while it generates a reply. And the biggest game changer? Copilot can actually now modify your design in Flux. By tapping into specialized tools, it can place components, wire connections, and update properties with just a confirmation from you. It's no longer just advising, it's actively building alongside you. Let's dive in and see it in action creating a project from scratch. Starting a new hardware project can be overwhelming. Even if you know what you want to build, turning that idea into a working schematic takes time. Choosing components, checking specs, making sure everything fits together. Copilot changes that. Instead of a blank page, you can choose one of the examples here or start with a simpler prompt. Let's say we're trying to make a sensor module with an XP32. Copilot will ask a series of questions trying to get more details. As you answer, it will refine the design. It's not just picking paths randomly. It's making intelligent decisions, selecting components that work well together while considering specs, footprint, and availability. Once we have enough details, Copilot will generate a complete bill of materials in seconds. No searching, no comparing data sheets manually. You can tweak, review, and confirm before moving forward, keeping full control over your design. And here's where it really changes the workflow. Instead of stopping at suggestions, Copilot places the components directly into the schematic. You configure the bomb, and within moments, the schematic starts taking shape. The microcontroller, sensor, power components all position in your schematics. Once we have our core components in place, we can get down to the nitty gritty. And that means, for example, adding decoupling capacitors. Normally, you'd go back to the data sheet, check recommended capacitor values, pick the right types, and manually place them. With Copilot, we can do this in seconds, which is prompted. Copilot identifies which components need the cap, selects the right capacitor types, and places them automatically in the schematic. No digging through libraries, no manual placement, it just gets done. But placement is only half the job. We also need the right value. Instead of manually checking each data sheet, we can just ask Copilot. Even with a solid design, there's always room for optimization. Maybe we want a more efficient regulator, a cheaper microcontroller, or a capacitor with better availability. Instead of manually searching for alternatives, we can let Copilot do the heavy lifting. Let's say we need a better temperature resolution from our sensor. Normally, that means digging through data sheets, comparing specs, and making sure the new part matches every other aspect. Or we can just ask Copilot to find us a better alternative. It analyzes the circuit, searches for compatible parts, and suggests the best replacement. Once we confirm the choice, Copilot doesn't just suggest the part, it swaps it directly into the schematic. Once the components are placed, the next step is wiring them together. This is where things can slow down, manually connecting pins, checking for the right nets, and making sure everything follows best practices. With Copilot, wiring is as simple as a command. Normally, we'd need to check the pin out, route SDA and SCL correctly, along with all the other required nets. Copilot automatically detects the correct pins, follows best practices, and makes the connections, all in seconds. Of course, we can always adjust as needed. While Copilot is the best in the industry, it can also make mistakes. So make sure you review every connection. The good news is that instead of spending minutes manually connecting each net, the groundwork is already done. Copilot isn't just another AI tool. It's the next step in making hardware design faster, easier, and more intuitive. We've gone from passive suggestions to real action, placing components, wiring connections, optimizing designs, and streamlining your tiny workflow. This is what AI in EDA was meant to be, an actual design partner that takes the heart out of hardware. If you haven't tried it yet, now's the time.